Did you take care of what you had to do? Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. Any problems? Just the one headed your way. We'll see. Mike, be careful. He'll... Goodbye, Mina. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I called you, remember? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It's a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was to put papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. Was it all you expected, Mike? Looking back, was it all worth it now? You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. It was worth it. It'll be even more rewarding when I bust out of here and tear this place down piece by piece. You probably think you're gonna get away before that happens, though. You think you have all the bases covered, your backup plan all in place. You don't. And within the hour, I'm gonna prove it. All right, Thornton. I think you misunderstand me. You see, I'm not here to gloat. I'm here to offer you a deal. I'm not giving up the film footage, see? I don't care, Mike. That's a separate appointment in my calendar. Right now, we're discussing you and Hellbeck. What are you talking about? If you stay here, it isn't gonna turn out well for you. The best you could have hoped for was to be captured by Alpha Protocol. Then they could erase you quietly. To me, that seems like a waste of talent. Really? Really? Do you know why I used you in the first place? I'm all ears. Because I recognize an asset when I see it. That is the reason Hellbeck is where it is today. And why our numbers are so high. It's also why Mr. Marburg chose to work for me. It's because I recognize value, and I reward loyalty. You're offering me a job. Mike, you already work for me. i just like to make it official. We have an excellent insurance package. What makes you think I'd even consider that? Because you can't go back. Those Marines you killed in Moscow. No American agent gets away with that in the end. You're not pretending to be a rogue agent anymore. You are one. They'll execute you. Me, I have a different perspective on the situation. I know what you did needed to be done to achieve results. It's a rare quality to find someone willing to think outside the box. You're setting yourself up to get put in a box, Leyland. Get to the point. This was the same talk Marburg and I had a long time ago, although I didn't know his agency connection when I hired him. You're a special case. I was able to recruit right from the source. So, a few things. One, you're going to be executed at worst, or at best, spend life in a CIA prison in Eastern Europe. Two, this will be the last conversation you'll have with another human being. And three, it really wasn't my fault that this whole situation happened, but I think you already recognize that. What a surprise to hear you say that. Anything else would be admitting responsibility. We wouldn't want that. Actually, responsibility and accountability factors into it. Mike, your government needed my contracts. They hired me to build this place. And worst of all, they created you. Worst of all? Yes, because when they create programs like this, there's no accountability. And when people never have to answer for the things they do... Leyland? Hmm? What is it? I've been dying to do that for hours. 
but I needed to hear all you had to brag about first. I'll take that as your answer, then. This was it for you, Thornton. I was your last chance. I can't wait to show you how wrong you are. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. I don't like to brag. Not according to your records. Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Albac, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Fuck off, Marburg. Enlisting with you? That'd be like signing up to get screwed by Alpha Protocol again. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. Doc will be along in just a bit to administer your meds. Nice knowing you, Thornton.
is it just Mike Thornton now, with the rank stripped away? Never understood why we had titles anyway. Meaningless. I don't understand why you wanted to speak to me. If you think I can help you, you're wrong. We'll see. I think you'll want to hear what I have to say. Parker, the plan you arranged with Halbeck, it's not gonna work. Really? Doubtful. I thought there was a chance you might return. You are resourceful, even for a rogue agent. Well, I have you all to thank for being rogue, don't I? I thought it would just be a cover, but you made it real. If you blame me for this, then you're in error. Miss Tang is to blame. I know what Mina did, but you were the one who ordered the missile strike on my location. Yes, but that was not my order. I would have preferred you return here, where you could be monitored. As you can see, letting you run around is dangerous. And, well, despite your flaws, you are a valuable resource. Now, what do you want? There's little I can do for you, so make it quick. I just want to know, why did you try and kill me in Saudi Arabia? You sent the coordinates to Halbeck. To kill both you and Shahid and erase the evidence of the missiles, yes. The math was logical. But I'm not surprised you find it confusing. So you never even asked. You compromised mission data to a contractor. Why? Compromised? No. Nah. As I said, I was ordered to. As much as you were tasked to kill Shahid, I was tasked to kill you. A waste, but all evidence of the sale of the missiles was to be deleted, including the agent. That's why you were the new recruit. The one to take the fall. Halbeck's interests had to be protected because it's our national interests. So that makes Leyland in charge now? Of an entire branch of a U.S. agency? No. We were ordered to assist him in recovering his missiles, in assassinating Shahid, and then killing you. He was given access to the facility and our resources. But why? Why did we cooperate? There's no reason to ask why. You can't tell me that you didn't suspect something was wrong. Nothing was wrong, Thornton. As I said, Halbeck had proper authorization. They asked permission, and they got it. And Westridge didn't object? No, because like me, he follows orders. We were asked to get an agent to do Leyland's job and to contract me for my services. Services? What services? I was asked to isolate events in the world and create... triggers. While many of these triggers would benefit Halbeck, a great deal would benefit the United States. China grows more powerful by the day. They are Halbeck customers as well, and if they are reliant on Halbeck technology, they are reliant on us. Even better, if they can be lured into action in Taiwan, well, then it buys us time to build strength. And Moscow? Rome? Rome was a reminder to the rest of Europe. Moscow, a necessary distribution center. And the people on the airliner in the Middle East? Those deaths? They are nothing compared to the death toll that would follow if these steps were not taken. You're responsible for everything that happened. You gave them the plan for all of this. Sung, the museum in Rome, that airliner. Uh, I wouldn't expect you to understand, Thornton. But yes, the government asked me to design scenarios to promote America's position in the world. And to strengthen Halbeck as well. It was the most interesting assignment I've had in years. To use my analytical skills for something besides system maintenance or compiling budget reports for a project of my own. So yes, I accepted the assignment. And I did what I do best. Analyze. Provided you had all the information. I did have all the information. No. No, you didn't. Parker Shahid isn't dead. I didn't kill him in Saudi Arabia. That missile never hit him. He'll be broadcasting in an hour. What you said about Moscow, that distribution center is shut down, and I found the real source there. I killed Surkov after he gave me what I needed to know. I don't believe you. You are a smart ass and a liar, Thornton. This is just another one of your stories to try and save yourself. Parker, whatever opinion you have about me, just this once, listen. It's not about me. This is the world we're talking about. Really? This conversation is over, Agent.
What are you doing here? I could ask you that same question. Did they hurt you? No. They asked me a lot of questions, but I think they were mostly interested in finding out what I knew about you. What did you tell them? Not much. I think I learned more about you from them than anything you ever told me. Mike, there's something I have to tell you. Can it wait? We have to get out of here without getting killed. Mike, it's about what happened in Taipei, about Sung. There was a reason I was there. I was the shooter. What? Why are you telling me this, and why now? For what it's worth, I'm glad you told me. What are you going to do? You mean, what are we going to do? I need your help if I'm going to get out of here. I also need that footage. And failing that, your testimony. No way am I leaving you here. I don't think Leyland intends to pay you, and Alpha Protocol is not going to be nice to you either. And if you're as good as I think you are, having one of the world's best assassins on my side could even the odds. All right, Mike. You've got my attention. I'll get the footage and meet up with you. You know, Mike, in the hotel, I wanted to tell you then... We can talk about it later, after we're both safely out of here. I'll get the footage and meet up with you. I'll be all right. Go on ahead.
guys are killing my story. Make sure you don't run away before we get to chat. We're sorry. This is my fault. I blew my cover to contact you. Like a rookie. Who hit you? Darcy. But I hit him first. I'm getting you out of here. Can you stand? Yeah. Mostly it's my pride that's hurt. But, Mike, this facility is sealed off. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, that's why I feel sorry for you. You never give up, do you? Do what I can to shut down the security systems. Go on ahead. I'll circle the world and get to the terminal. If you see Darcy, save some for me.
check one one in ten minutes.
can set those charges. Keep an eye out for Thornton. He's still around here. Contact. Uh, I think they armed the bombs in here. Bombs. And it looks like he only a few minutes before the time was here. Mike, you need to shut them down. Those two. Like the turrets? They're tax dollars of war. Thank you. 
me. our flight out of here. Waste of a missile, but it seems like everybody on this island is trigger happy. Head for the wreckage. I asked the pilot to bring me a resupply in case Leyland refused to pay. On my way. done here. Just had to settle things with a colleague. I stashed more weapons and ammo on the chopper. The one that had the missile accident? Get to it. See what you can recover. Darcy would fuck this up.
flare. It would have been more subtle. Nice job, Mike, but I can't let you leave with that data. Give up now, and we'll go easy on you. Fuck off, Westridge. Just make sure you don't run away before we get to chat. Take him out. Mike. Check out your target. The base... I need some closure. I volunteered for this program, but I couldn't have made it into Alpha Protocol if you hadn't chosen me. What I want to know is why. I needed someone who could kill Shahid, get the missiles back, and keep their mouth shut. I needed someone I could trust. So you thought I could just be pointed at a target and fired, like some kind of weapon? Surprised? A weapon's all you are. 
I had my orders. We carry them out, send out agents, and we don't ask why. Say what you will. You had what it took to get the job done, and then some. That's why you were selected. It was my life. <laughs> what life? You knew the odds going in. You wanted to serve your country. Well, this is it. If I stayed in the program, I'd have ended up like you. Or worse, like Parker. That someone would have come along who owes one of their corporate buddies a favor, Halbeck or someone else. And we get used because we've been conditioned never to ask. Believe it or not, Halbeck's interests are our interests. We need their technology. No, we don't. They almost caused a war, and we helped them. For what? To secure some government contracts? If you're gonna kill me, kill me. If you're gonna ask for your life back, then ask. But don't waste my time. I don't have any more questions. You're done, Westridge. You and your whole operation. This program is all you know, Mike. Leave it, and you have nothing. Really, what are you gonna do? Get revenge? Expose the agency? Or maybe you came back because what you really needed was another mission. My goals are a little higher than that. Any last words? Yeah. Go to hell. Not the best I've heard, but... Too bad about your pension. Just a little payback. Please, Agent, don't be a fool. How dare you hit me? That's for what you did to Mina. That's for my life. I can keep this up all day. Now, tell me what else I can't do. You think you can give me orders? Think you have control of this situation? Thornton, hold on. I can get you whatever you want. Funds, vehicles, transport off this island, your life, your career. I can give it back to you. It'd only take a few calls. And all I have to do is let you go, right? See, that's where you lose my interest. Goodbye, Lil. Thornton, please. I can pay you. Mission accomplished, Agent? Just Mike, if you please. Let's get out of here. Where to? I have no idea. I don't even know where here is. Surprise me. No sense of direction, huh? Should have expected that. You know, I think I liked it better when you were on the radio. You mean all the times I was saving your ass? You? You didn't do jack shit. What, a running commentary is somehow saving someone's ass?
more setbacks for troubled Halbeck Industries today as Russian federal police uncovered extensive evidence linking the corporation's senior officers to illegal arms trafficking. This setback comes on the heels of a mysterious disappearance of Halbeck CEO Henry Leland, who vanished from his San Francisco office earlier this month. American law enforcement is cooperating with Interpol to locate him. Along with the indictments against Halbeck, several prominent Muscovite politicians and business leaders have been arrested in connection with the scandal. A series of coordinated bombings in the West Bank left hundreds dead earlier today in an attack carried out by the Al-Samad terror network. In a video statement claiming credit for the attack, Al-Samad leader Ali Shahid said that these attacks would continue until Al-Samad's demands were met, demands which include a complete pullout of American troops from the entirety of the Islamic world. The attacks were carried out using a sophisticated new explosive gel, originally developed for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to clear mountain passes and demolish bridges. The gel is largely undetectable to current generation chemical bomb sniffers, and even dogs will have to be retrained to identify the explosive. Analysts predict that if terrorist organizations like al Samad have acquired large quantities of this weapon, they could conceivably attack extremely high security targets with impunity, at least until updated security measures can be implemented. The Mideast Unity Conference, currently being held in Riyadh, has been postponed indefinitely in the wake of this tragedy. On the one-month anniversary of the Roman Museum bombing, thousands turned up for a candlelight vigil in memory of the fallen. Leading the crowd was Madison St. James, an American woman who very nearly died in the attack. Miss St. James has become a striking political figure in the previous weeks, having spoken at the EU headquarters in Strasbourg, the U.S. Senate, and the Mideast Unity Conference in Riyadh. She has called for reforms in anti-terror legislation, citing sweeping human rights violations that are ultimately ineffectual at combating terrorism. Uncertainty still grips Taiwan in the wake of President Ronald Sung's assassination. Emergency elections are scheduled in three weeks, with the country's future hanging in the balance. Sung's pro-independence leanings were never popular among certain elements of the government, and speculation has abounded that his successor will face pressure to back down and press for formal reintegration with the People's Republic of China. Taiwanese authorities announced the execution of assassin Wen Shu today. Investigators have uncovered no motive for the assassination. A copy of Catcher in the Rye, a novel famously associated with conspiracy theories and secret American brainwashing programs, was found in his apartment, leading to internet speculation that Wen Shu was an American sleeper agent planted to assassinate Sung and touch off a war with China. U.S. government sources have declined comment.